Hi friends, welcome back to Gyan Vigyan Foundation's Ayer Academy and you are watching my YouTube channel Gyan Vigyan Foundation. So friends, today in this video, we shall try to understand one another subtopic in physics that is about the thermal properties of matter. So friends, here today in this particular topic, we shall try to understand one another subtopic that is about the specific heat capacity of solids and liquids. So friends, here if 1 kg of water and 1 kg of paraffin are heated in turn for the same time by the same heater, the temperature rise of paraffin is about twice that of water. Since the heater gives equal amount of heat energy to each liquid, it seems that different substances require different amounts of heat to cause the same temperature rise of 1 degree centigrade in the same mass of 1 kg. Thus, the specific heat capacity is defined as the amount of heat per unit mass absorbed or given out by the substance to change its temperature by 1 unit that is by 1 degree centigrade or by 1 degree Kelvin. So friends, now let us see the next point that is about the SI unit. The SI unit of specific heat capacity is joules per kg degree centigrade or joules per kg degree Kelvin and in CGS the unit is erg per gram degree centigrade or erg per gram degree Kelvin. The specific heat capacity is a property of the substance and weakly depends on its temperature. Except for very low temperatures, the specific heat capacity is also constant for all practical purposes. So friends, this was about the specific heat capacity of solids and liquids. Now let us try to understand one another term that is about the specific heat capacity of some substances at room temperature and atmospheric pressure. So friends, here are some examples of substances along with its specific heat capacity. So now let us try to understand about it. The substances like steel has the specific heat capacity in joules kg per degree Kelvin and here its unit is 120. Similarly, the next substance is about lead. So, lead has the specific heat capacity as 128 and gold has 129, tungsten has 134.4, silver has 234, copper has 387 and iron has 448. Similarly, carbon has 506.5 and glass has 837 and aluminium has 903 and kerosene has 2118. Then paraffin oil has 2130, alcohol has 2400, then ethanol has 2500. And lastly, water has 4186.0, that is 4186.0 joules per kg per degree Kelvin. So friends, by now you might have understood my subtopic in physics. And if you have understood my subtopic in physics, then please subscribe like and comment my channel.